Hello everybody, and this is my new series, as I hinted at in my previous update video. This is NCAA, A -A. I don't know why I said it like that, NCAA <laughs> Football 13, and I'm going to be doing Dynasty Mode. Um, this is something kind of new to my channel as far as the series goes. I've done videos on the... NCA 12 and then NCA 13, but I've never done like a true series. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be interesting for sure. And uh, if you uh, you know you want to give this a chance, give me a chance. And uh, I don't know where I'm going with this this sentence here, but you know. I'm going to name my coach Art Vandelay. If you get the reference, then you get the reference. If you don't, then you do not get my uh, special internet baloney that I give to people. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go with the sexy sweater vest. We'll be uh, Jim Trussell. Well, not really, but that's definitely what they base that off of. Alright, that's, uh, those are pretty pretty nasty looking glasses there so I'm not going to use them I just I always like to go with the medium you know I, I, I guess I could be the extra large coach or large but no medium 3 is at least the most normal looking guy because look at medium 4 freaking Nick Saban look like what is that alright and yes my alma mater will be Nebraska because that is where I am originally from. Did not go to college there in real life, but we will pretend this is a video game. Offensive style. Well, depends who we're going to be. And I'm not going to start at Nebraska. I may end up going there at some point, but to start off, we will go smaller time. Definitely like to run the ball more. A little bit more conservative. Some frequency, yes, fine. 3-4 defense, a little more aggressive on defense. Um, we'll leave my playbook at Nebraska for now, uh, but I can go and change that whenever I want, so. Alright, so, uh, generate auto names no, because I have a roster. Um, all that stuff's good for now. House rules. I actually am going to, I usually do 8 minute quarters, because those, those get pretty freaking awesome results. But <clears throat> for the sake of the series, I've got some special uh, changes to be made here. So, um, whoa, 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 whoa. We want recruiting difficulty. All American at play. Gameplay is Heisman difficulty. Everything else on. Penalties are that. Um, I'm going to go in and update these sliders because they haven't been adjusted to the ones that I currently use, so um, I'll go get those changed before we start our first game, which will be later. Uh, not not in this video, but um, in the next video it should be, so. Fantastic! It's going to do its little coach contracts and all the generation of crap. Okay, so like I said, I won't be starting at Nebraska. I never really like to start big in Dynasty mode. I like to start at smaller schools and, and build up. Either build that school up or try and build my reputation up. We go with uh, with our good friends. I don't know why I'm saying this because I'm not... You know. We're going to go with Western Kentucky. How about that? They're offering us a one-year contract and they have our goals outlined here. So... We want to win at least four games in a season because otherwise we are going to probably fail hardcore. Alright, not too shabby. Art Vandelay is going to sign his name. Like I said, if you don't get the reference, I'm sorry. Look it up. <laughs> okay, so now here's kind of the uh, weird, or I guess not weird, but kind of the less fun part of this. Um, we have to set up our recruiting board and do the red shirting and blah 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 blah. But yeah, Western Kentucky, I played as them in a few uh, play now games, just against computer randomly. Um, 
I, I like their team. And, I mean, they've got other, you know, they've got a nice stadium. I, they've got some good uniform selections, you know, if, you, if you're into that thing. Which I kind of am, you know, I don't like to have, I like to have options when I'm choosing uniforms. Um, so, we have our team needs here. Not too many, thank goodness. I'm doing a... I don't know that you guys really care about this, but... I'm, I'm in an online dynasty with uh, some dudes. Um, I'm not going to be YouTubing that, that's just going to be my, on my own time, but... Uh, that's, I'm, I'm playing as UTEP, and they have like a billion players that they need. Thankfully here, we don't have too many needs. Quarterback and middle... Couple middle linebackers, couple defensive ends. Why am I clicking? Why am I? All right. Um, so yeah, not too bad. Let's look at our. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is this is what sucks about choosing a lower lower rated team is that you have pretty much horrible pitches across the board for recruiting. I mean, of course, you know, proximity to home and playing time will probably be the only good things that we be will be able to pitch. To uh, certain recruits, and you know, getting these five stars isn't really going to be something, something dark side. But um, yeah, I'm not going to show too much recruiting at all. I'll show like if I if I if a guy commits or something interesting happens. But um, other than that, I won't focus too much on recruiting because it can get boring. You know, just watching recruiting after a while so you know what I didn't check our pipelines and pipelines are great to have Florida Georgia and Kentucky I love that Florida is a big one to have and we're in danger of losing Tennessee and Indiana next year um, which I, I I could afford to lose those I'd like to maybe get Texas as a pipeline you know uh, get those big states, Texas, California, Florida. Florida is nice to have. Um, I believe, let me go back to that. I believe you have to have, um, I, I guess, is it at least five now? I thought it was seven. Oh, oh my gosh. It says right at the top of the screen. I'm genius. <laughs> you must have four players from a state. For, okay, so you have to have at least four players from a state for it to be a pipeline. Um, which isn't as easy as it sounds, because some some players are just difficult to get, and some states just don't have a lot of recruits. So I guess I should probably get on to actual recruiting instead of just blabbering like a moron. Um, we'll, we'll flip down to Florida. They always have lots of recruits and lots of really good ones too. So yeah, that's that's good. Um, now, what kind of quarterback? I, I want to. I want to get a scrambler. Uh, I think it would be. You know, I'm. I'm much more favorable to that kind of quarterback because I. I, I usually run the ball most of the time anyway. So um, we could probably grab a three star. And it looks like, well, at least based on the letter grades, he's not exactly the fastest. But we'll we'll slap him onto a recruiting board because we can. Uh, let's go back to all. I, I, you know, this could probably get really, really boring really fast. You guys just watching me do this, but is anybody interested in us at all? Like nobody, nobody wants to go to Western Kentucky. Come on. Come on, there's lots of hot girls here, guys. Come on. <laughs> Actually, I have no idea. I don't even live anywhere near Kentucky, so I really don't know. I don't know anything about Western Kentucky as far as the school. As far as the university goes, so... If you know more than me, then... You know, maybe there are lots of hot girls there. I don't know. I, I don't know. Might have to Google that shiz. Okay, he has poopy acceleration, which is not what you want. If you want to get this kind of the kind of quarterback that I'm looking for, should have you know pretty pretty good acceleration, pretty good speed, but needs to be able to. Uh, that guy's last name is Peoples. All right. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to cut out this portion of the recruiting because it does take a little bit, 
and I will show you my recruiting board once I'm done with this stuff and we'll go through the rest of the preseason and all that good stuff. So see you in a little bit. Alright guys, I've, I've got it. Um, my recruiting board half set up. Um, I basically put all the players to try and fill my needs. Um, and then I'm going to add some players. Since we don't have very many needs, we can do a little bit of uh, what I like to call... I guess you could call it like vanity recruiting. And you can't see that I'm doing air quotes, but I'm doing that anyway. Um, basically, just trying to, to get some good recruits in other positions so you can have them ready uh, in a couple years to really, down the road, really start beefing up your team. Um, it's nice when you don't have too many needs to start out with on recruiting. Um, so, here we go. Uh, we've got Mr. John Cruz from uh, Florida. Mr. Hill from Kentucky. I mean, we've got a bunch of scrambler quarterbacks here. Georgia as well. Um, here you can see our guys. Mostly three stars, two stars. That's pretty much what we're going to be able to get. I threw a four-star middle linebacker in there. He's from Kentucky, and I was going to see, you know, maybe... Who knows? We probably won't get him. You know, Wisconsin, Auburn, and Oregon are his top three. But who knows? You never know. So we'll, we'll see what we can do. Maybe get a four-star linebacker out of this recruiting deal at the end of the season. You never know. Um, so I'll go throw some other other players on there. Um, when we get to actual recruiting later on, you'll see me. You know, you'll be able to see the board as well. So um, I'll, I'll go looking at other players later on. And when we do week run up for one of recruiting off screen, so returning players. So uh, I generally only do it if they're freshmen and they don't have a red shirt, and if we can afford to red shirt them. Uh, I think we'll be fine with the three deep halfback. So we'll we'll give Mr. Sumler a red shirt, so he'll sit out for the year and be on the scout team, develop his skills. You know, uh, this sophomore Higby, we have so many receivers. Let's uh, let's give him another year to develop. He could probably be a really good receiver. And actually, this guy too. Uh, we don't need four tight ends, so... Um, I usually don't do sophomores as much, but it, it just depends on circumstances, so... Right tackle, A. Eh? What about left? How many do we have? Hmm, he's terrible. He has terrible 40. Yeah, he's pretty. Yeah, all right. We'll we'll give him a red shirt. Um, well, look at that. Left end is stacked with seniors. Wow, we are gonna have a very interesting. Could I do? Yeah, yeah. We're four deep there, so we could. We can afford to do that. Um, hmm, so many red shirting. I don't like to give out this many red shirts, but such is the life of me. <laughs> Sounds really weird. Free safety, we could red shirt him. Good for us. Punter, kicker, blah blah blah. Okay, that was a lot of red shirting. I don't usually do that much, but. I think our depth chart is fine. We can check that later anyway. Don't do choose extra pipeline state because we don't want to do that. I like to take FCS teams off. They're just way too easy to win against. Most, you know, if you want to pad your stats, then throw them on the schedule. But uh, it's kind of a cheap win if you ask me. So I'm gonna throw. Uh, I'm gonna throw a little bit tougher, but I'm I'm gonna it's gonna be a winnable game, but we'll uh wait, I just gotta make sure oh my gosh. Okay, I just gotta make sure we have um the teams that I will be playing out of conference. Alabama, Kentucky, Southern Miss, so I don't <laughs> accidentally I don't think you can add them twice, but in the event that accidentally happened I was gonna avoid it anyway, so should be winnable, but no guarantees. I'm feeling... I'm feeling Navy on this one. 
no guarantees to win this game, but you know what? It's going to be a fun one. Okay, so let's look at our schedule now. We have at home against Navy, then uh, at Alabama. Oh my gosh. That scares me. At Kentucky, that will be tough because they're just better than Southern Miss at home. That will be tough too. At Arkansas State, then bye week. At Troy, home against UL Monroe. At FIU, Middle Tennessee State, Florida Atlantic, both at home. And then at UL Lafayette. And then finally, home game against North Texas to round out our Sunbelt schedule. I would like to keep the changes, yes. I did I did hit yes there, right? Okay. I just wanted to make sure that would be stupid if I just hit start season and then I still had the FCS team on there. Alright, so we've done the preseason stuff. It took probably way longer than it should have. I'll probably chop some stuff up here to take out the boring content for you guys. If you enjoyed this, let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, I'll probably be getting week one out shortly as well. Simply because, uh, you know, this is one of those, like, weird videos where I just kind of have to introduce the series and the preseason's kind of boring for YouTube content anyway, so. But I'm excited. I'm very excited to start this season. And like I said, I'll, I'll get my recruiting board filled up a little bit more. So there's only 16 players, and I can definitely afford to have more players than that on there, so. Yeah. I'm going to let it go and process all the stuff, and we'll get a quick glance at some of the preseason stuffs, and then we will begin the season. Top stories, blah, blah, blah. It's Alabama, they've got Michigan first week, that's going to be tough. Stuff about Matt Barkley and USC. And then we got, of course, the classic Miami Boston College rivalry. Boise State, Michigan State. It's going to be a good one. And random Mac matchup. Okay. Season polls, all this stuff. Who's on the Heisman watch? Let's just pick that up. Barkley, Ball, Matthew, Robinson, Jones. Pretty, uh, not surprising. Those are pretty standard picks there. So we'll see how the season unfolds guys i'm jammer 1031 hope you enjoyed this introduction to my new series and uh yeah week one against navy will be up shortly after this thanks for watching